All right, well, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go over a, another method of how to install a dedicated Conan's Exile server. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the dedicated server launcher. Uh, this tool is quite convenient and it makes everything real easy, such as downloading the server, setting up your server to restart, and also displaying messages. So you can get the dedicated server launcher from the Conan's Funcom page. Uh, we're going to download version 1.46 for this video. Uh, what we're going to want to do is to first create a new folder for our Conan server. And then we'll download the server launcher. Um, we already got that downloaded, so let's go ahead and grab a copy of that and we're just gonna paste it into our Conan server folder that we created on the desktop and then we'll run this for the first time and then we can see all these settings here we want to create a live environment we don't want to do the test live um, we're gonna log in as anonymous through the Steam server we can create the name of our server We can give our server a password. We're going to leave that public um, and we'll give it an admin password. If we had mods, we can load them here from the Steam Workshop. We can set our location. We can set the maximum player count. And we can also enable the Archon. The Archon needs to be enabled so we can broadcast messages. Okay, now you will need to open up your game ports and your raw port, source port, and Archon port. You'll need to do that from your home network, uh, your modem or router. But we can, we already did this uh, prior to making the video, so we can actually test it. We'll need to allow access. Uh, let's test it again. I think it failed because of the message. Yep, okay, so everything looks good. So we can actually start downloading our our Conan server we can see the, the the disk and the plus sign this means that we actually need to download the files first so we'll go ahead and click there we're gonna wanna save changes and this is it's gonna log us into the steam servers and then download we can also see our the information here this will take some time depending on your network speed Okay, now we can see that our files are done downloading, so it's just going to verify the update. And once it completes verifying the update, we're ready to launch our server. There are some additional settings that you may want to change, uh, such as you may want to restart your server daily. So make sure you check this box. You can also change your map if you want to do SIPTA or the exiled lands. Just be sure to save your changes before starting server. We're going to need to allow access through our firewall. And now our server should be running and ready to play. So let's go ahead and start the server from Steam. or start the game.
Okay, and now we should be able to see our server running. If you don't see your server in the lobby list, it may take some time to populate. But you can search for your server. And we can see that this is a new test. We can see our servers running here. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.